Wrestling League सीजन तीन में देवियों सज्जनों अब वक्त है महिलाओं की 50 किलोग्राम फर्क कुश्ती का मुंबई महारथी की ओर से आ रही हैं भारतीय मूल की कुमारी सीमा तीन में भूटानी डेली सुल्तान की ओर से आ रहे हैं जुनिसिया मूल की मेजियन मरियो दुश्मनों को ये उड़ाते हैं सो दिस इज गोर बी दी सेकेंड बाउट ऑफ द डे फॉर द मुंबई महारथी सीमा इन द वुमेन्स फिफ्टी के जी कैटेगरी ट्वेंटी फोर इयर ओल्ड एंड नेशनल चैंपियनशिप्स इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एट दी कॉमनवेल्थ चैंपियनशिप्स वेंट ऑन टू विन अ गोल्ड इज वेल दिस वॉज Remember, different from the Commonwealth Games, we're talking about the Commonwealth Championships, which happen in the non-Commonwealth Games here. But she's up against uh, Mezian from the Delhi Sultans, the 29-year-old from Tunisia. She's got a bronze at the African Championships as well, a bronze there, gold in the African Championship in 2017. So far more experienced is the grappler from Tunisia. Who's representing Delhi Sultans in the commentary box? I'm Raman Banot with me, John Taylor. John, this does look like a bit of a mismatch on paper. It could well be. Uh, the experience is certainly there. Finger up! We'll just have to see, though. The this is also a tournament where they discover new talent, and uh, the auctions very interesting. How, how the people, the team owners, go for it. How they balance their team. And Red. you always feel Attention. that one or two okay. wrestlers maybe are low on their list. We'll see whether this is one of them. Finger up, man. Figure this out as well. For the moment, though, Seema with the uh, red belt uh, color around around her red. waist on Attention. the costume Excellent. from the red corner, representing the Mumbai Maharathis. Mumbai, remember, were champions in the first season a couple of years ago. The campaign not going according to plan. In 2016, but this is a different ball game altogether. This year round, in 2017, last year well, they lost uh, their way a bit, but this is going to be a different ball game. Both very tentative at the moment, searching out uh, strengths and weaknesses. Maroi Mezian looking very athletic. Looks. Uh, Actually, the smaller of the two grapplers, but um, sometimes that's misleading. They're obviously in the same weight category, but she's the one who looks as if she might have the edge yeah. on athleticism. Attention. And also, John, you get a feeling for first and foremost uh, a verbal warning going out there for Sima to engage in uh, grappling. Not sure as much passivity as she has so far. Yep, we ought to explain that passivity. Uh, passivity. Can cost you a point. You've got 30 seconds if it becomes an official warning, and uh, you've then got to actually Finger score a point or you lose one. Yes, the way it works is that the referee notices the bout for the first one and a half odd minutes, and if no wrestlers scored, and you feel that one of the ref or the referee feels that one of the wrestler isn't really being active enough, then after the two-minute uh, scenario, all right, there you go. One point has been. Uh, Signaled. In fact, now no. In fact, it's that one point given. Yes, to the Delhi grappler. That's uh, Mazian. 
because of passivity that was being shown by Seema and now she's in trouble, could be pushed out of the wrestling area onto the uh, safety zone. Yes, the push out did happen, but albeit wasn't really in full control with that push out, therefore no scoring of a point. No, the push out would score you one, but you've got to be in control. And now Seema turns, gets her Mezian down. That'll be a two-pointer, confirmed there by the referee, and now just trying to roll her over. Full defence now from Maroy Mezien. And they'll go back to Parterre. That's back to a regular resting position. Udanayo, she's become a crowd favourite, hasn't she, over the last couple of seasons? Yeah, and we're not going to see her tonight, so she's acting as top cheerleader for her side. Great. Two, two rounds of three minutes. It's a long format, particularly for the female wrestlers. And there we've uh, got uh, Sima, the Mumbai wrestler, 2 1 lead. Red, attention. It wasn't a very high scoring first period of uh, play, the first three minutes. Just had the uh, passivity kick in where the point being awarded to Maroi. And then Seema came up with the two point maneuver. And the two point maneuver was she managed to take her up and down, get three joints on the mat, and that's where the point accounted for two points. The only proper attack that counted in the whole of that first round. And again, good respect for each other. They are wary, they realize that uh, this is a good match and one mistake could actually ruin it so they're showing great care action the way once again the referee has to intervene and he was this time around telling Maroi to get on with it the Delhi grappler was being told to show up more intent yep and that again could cost her one point now which would bring the bout level action the way and that's it. there you go again the refs just intervene saying that you've got to get on with it otherwise the passivity rule will kick in and passivity would mean that Action if within 30 seconds Maroi doesn't score then a point will be awarded to Seema and uh, that could really help the Mumbai Maharatis and Maroi again looking as if she's content to just sort of prevent her opponent from launching an attack that could be seen as passivity as well and the referee has certainly decided he's had enough. That's the official warning. He's now got, she now has 30 seconds. Otherwise, the point will go to the Delhi wrestler. As simple and straight, a minute and a half into that period, if a grappler hasn't scored, both grapplers haven't scored, then for the next 30 seconds, the grappler who's been cautioned, has been told to get on with it, needs to either score a point or they will end up conceding and that's the risk that Maroi is running at the moment good defense by Seema she knows she doesn't have to attack she just needs to defend and uh, by the time this maneuver ends there you go the points been given to the red corner Seema getting a cushion of two points now there it goes on the scoreboard as well 3-1 and remember she's got the two-point score as a bit of a safety as well now the clock is ticking and pressure on the Tunisian Mezi and Maroy. She needs to get on with it now. If she goes in with a two-point maneuver, then it's going to be interesting because scores will be leveled, John, and both of them would have scored, uh, you know, the equal number of points in a technical uh, approach. So it will be the final score as a two-pointer. They both got two pointers, but it doesn't look as if we're going to see that now. Just 15 seconds to go, and. Uh, it looks as if Seema is actually going to just keep her opponent at bay and see this one out. Oh, a desperate effort at the end there by Maroi Mezien. And it again costs her going for victory. It was the right thing to do, but she couldn't pull it off. And the victor is Seema. Well, there you go. If it was Sandeep Tomar who'd won the opening bar for the Delhi Sultans, it's Seema who pulls one back. For the Mumbai Maharatis, a clinical performance. She's won this 5-1 against the Tunisian. And what it's done is...